This week, I'm back home in Boulder and I'm planning to run my highest mileage week ever of 90 miles. I also have my first VO2 max workout that I really want to crush. This is my half marathon journey. So on Monday morning, Allie and I met up with our friend Charlie Lawrence and Charlie Sweeney for a 10 mile morning run that was easy from Neva, AKA Left Hand Trailhead. And I wanted to take you guys along on the run because it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to move to Colorado. We live within 10 minutes of this run, which makes it super accessible for us. And one of the main reasons I love this is because of the dirt roads. I think that the dirt roads is an absolute staple of Colorado in general. And this run has really cool views as well as you can see so we had a really good run and we got some good conversations in and kind of just shook the body out through the system and overall we all felt good and then after the run Ali and I crushed some hill strides I did six by 20 second hill stride just to cap it off so in total I ended up getting 11 miles on the day we finished yeah. high five with the insta 360 yeah, we got 11 miles in on the morning, not too shabby. So after the run, I did 30 reverse lunges on both sides of my legs. And this is a good glute exercise that I was told to do by David Roach, who is my advisor. David told me to do these two to three times a week. And honestly, I'm just gonna listen to everything he tells me because he is an absolute legend. And obviously he just won the Leadville 100 race in record time. So I'm not gonna question anything he tells me to do. You probably noticed the high performance running apparel I'm wearing by Soar Running in this video. Their running clothes are absolutely top notch and it looks great as well. So if you're interested in Soar, I'll leave a link in my description for you to check out. Post Ron, you know what it is. Sponsor me, Coke. You are the biggest jerk. It has been a busy day, folks, but let's take a look at the dinner here. Maybe let you walk us through it. Yeah, so we've got some roasted Brussels sprouts and onions. Then over here we have garlic bread, some meat sauce, and some bow tie pasta. People, people, I just had a delicious dinner that Allie made for me. It was absolutely phenomenal. But uh, also guys, I just, I'm really excited right now because I have this random YouTube short that is absolutely going viral. I have not had like a viral post like that in almost ever really. So for whatever reason, people outside of this incredible little community we have are watching this from last to first YouTube short thing. And uh, anyway, Allie and I have to get to bed super early tonight because we- Super early. We've got a big workout tomorrow. morning people it is 5 53 right now we got 5 30 about to have two of these morning mixed drinks by morton this is not a sponsored promotion i just like this a lot because it's a really easy way for me to carb up ali's oh, he's grinding down that bicarb ali's grinding down her bicarb comment down below if you even know what bicarb is i've never had it before but apparently it's incredible like it, it makes you fast so we'll see you at the track here at the track uh, shout out to Ugo for filming today came on very short notice but I'm here with Charlie uh, he's warming up somewhere but yes the workout is 8 by 800 at about 10k pace I don't know what the times are gonna be maybe 220 to 222 for the first part and then we might cut down a little bit so it's gonna be the first real hard vo2 max workout so hopefully you guys enjoy it
So I want to just chat with you guys in the second half of this workout, but first I want to shout out Soar again for their incredible apparel. I was wearing that through this whole workout, so if you're interested, take a look in my description below. But here we are on rep number five, and you can see that Charlie was just continuously gapping me on all of these reps, but we ran another 219. And you know, what happened is Charlie said we were going to try to run around 220 on all of the reps, but of course we end up running fast on every single one, and that's just because he's super fit, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with getting dropped by him right now he is in incredible shape again he's going for the 100k world record in about five days from now so i really think he's going to get that record so yeah he just continued to lay down the hammer and also he led every step of this workout for me so i'm obviously gonna you know be very happy that he did that and i'm not going to complain at all but yeah in terms of how i felt during this workout it was overall really really good and really really encouraging because i've been doing a lot of really slow mileage not too many workouts basically one workout a week and not too much fast stuff like in this vo2 max range where it's like 430 to 440 pace and i was really able to kind of handle this pretty well i also had the alpha flies on which they felt great um, they're super comfortable and they definitely help you quite a bit now for the last rep of the workout charlie gave me a five second head start because he wanted to hunt me down and i also had ally running with me for the first 400 meters so you're going to see charlie absolutely hawk me down and then proceed to drop me but i held him off pretty hard for the first part i uh, went through the first 467 i wanted to go a little bit harder on the last rep and see if i could go faster than the 218 that i had been running but immediately well not immediately but about 700 meters to go charlie came up and just went right by me and yeah so again this guy is in a uh, crazy crazy good shape right now but again i have to just be happy about my own workout because i ended up running a 215 charlie closed in 205 though which is crazy that then at the end of the workout, I had four by 200 meter build. Uh, I didn't really time these, but I, I would say that they were probably roughly around 30 seconds ish where I just built every 50 meters. And that's because I'm trying to kind of maintain my speed right now while I'm doing this heavier block of 90 miles. So in total this week, I did end up hitting the 90 mile marker at the end of the week, which was super, super hype. But you'll have to watch the end of the video to see what else happens. We just finished up amazing workout day. 11 days out from 100K world record. So we need to be able to close 800 and 205. I don't know many other people that can do that better. Ultra guys. So in a good spot. Now it's basically really tapering. So shout out this guy. He's fit. Like don't let him, don't let him sandbag in front of you from now on. Like I'm gone for two weeks. If he says he's out of shape. Like, put them on blast in the comments, so. By the way, listen to our podcast. If you want to hear us yap annoyingly for about 50 to an hour while you're on a run or something, listen to our podcast. You it's actually, actually, it's only annoying when Spencer's the one talking. When I'm talking, it's very demure, it's very mindful. pretty bad, so just listen down below. We'll leave a link. It's called Every Step of the Way. Oh, George. goes running after that frisbee all right about to double with charlie so in the afternoon i did a five mile double with charlie and this was actually the first double i've done in this training block so i was super super excited about doing it and it's important to double on workout days because it's like hard days hard type vibes but overall great time and the double was fantastic successful run folks great run with charlie all right it is wednesday morning it's around 7 a.m and I'm gonna run with my friend Charlie, not the Charlie you guys normally know, different Charlie, Charlie Sweeney. We're gonna meet up and I have a 10 to 12 mile easy run today. So I feel the appropriate amount of tired. So we're just gonna keep it really slow and easy and relaxed today. The easy 10 mile run was great. And actually I ended up hitting my goal of 90 miles by the end of the week, but something incredible also happened that I want you guys to see. Just about to hit 100,000 subscribers. It uh, it only took me about nine years, folks. But uh, let's see it. Oh, oh yeah. You did it. Feels great, people. <laughs> took nine years, but uh, we finally got to 100K. And uh, cheers. We'll see you at 200K.